I see the school bus in that uh, story right there. School not too far off, August 24th. And I bet your daughter is loving scenes like that. And I was oh, in yeah. Walmart the other day. Oh. Wow, they have all the back to school stuff out. People picking it up. And, uh, I was in Hobby Lobby last week. They've got all the holiday stuff out. No. Christmas stuff, no. Halloween stuff. Well, it won't be long before I'm going to be working on my Christmas and Thanksgiving Day graphics. Wow. Well, you we know, still got a little bit of summer left anyway. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, take a look at our weather headlines for today. We're looking at some below normal temperatures for today. A few clouds on Saturday and a slight chance of some showers in the early morning hours. And again, in the afternoon on Saturday, Sunday looking much better. Warmer next week, not a whole lot warmer, but warmer nonetheless. And all that radar action you see in eastern Montana, that's what's left of our disturbance. Most of the action, you know, not just with this last system, but pretty much a lot of the systems this summer, we've uh, missed out on the wild weather, but eastern Idaho getting the action. Also our east central mountains, look at all the lightning. If we're going to see any new fire starts, it would be in this area right here with all those lightning strikes. This is a loop going back to noon yesterday to about 8 p.m. Then they die out with the setting sun. Speaking of wild weather, we did have some severe weather reports, but again, in eastern Idaho, some thunderstorm wind damage and look at the uh, wind gust. We had some uh, potato crops. This is why it's uh, tough to be a farmer. A potato crop damage from wind and rain and hail. Crops were flattened. All it takes is one storm like that. 72 mile per hour thunderstorm wind gusts and even a funnel cloud near Idaho Falls and a uh, half inch of rain in 15 minutes. About the only closest storm report here was in the Magic Valley. Some hail there around Filer, some heavy hail, driveway covered in hail in that area. 60 degrees, we just had a little bit of rain in some locations. 60 degrees, our current temperature in Boise, 39 for Stanley. Here's our Almanac page forecasting 85, still a bit below normal, which is 92. And of course, we have the potential of seeing some triple digit heat. 700 of an inch of precipitation. That's a bit ahead for the day. That puts us ahead for the month by a tenth of an inch, and we're still ahead by just over an inch for the water year going back to October 1st. That low pressure system now has found itself right here where you see these radar returns, dry air working its way in from the west, and that will give us two pretty much cloud free days. Got some moisture working its way into central California, also a disturbance up there in Canada, very little effect. We're kind of in between those two features and we'll stay in between them for the next 48 hours. But a low pressure trough starts to carve out and move inland. It will mainly move again once again to the southeast. Looks like eastern Idaho might see some action again, kind of dodging the Boise area. There's early Saturday morning. Some showers possible. It's close enough. It will moisten up our atmosphere with some heating of the day. We could see some showers a little bit more widespread Saturday afternoon. Sunday though, looking much better. Here is our future cast, our tight view. And just a few clouds. There's a little bit of cloud cover catching us on Friday. There's uh, the showers early Saturday morning and again in the afternoon, mainly for our northern mountains. Here's our forecast sunny for Twin Falls. You're high in the mid 80s today, near 70 for Sun Valley and sunny skies. Sunny for McCall and Cascade. Your daytime highs in the mid 70s. Riggins a high of 85 for today, 84 in council and sunny conditions. Sunny from start to finish. Western end of the valley with daytime highs ranging from the mid to upper 80s. 87 in Weezer, that will be one of the warmer spots. Cannon County looking at daytime highs in the lower to mid 80s. And Boise a high right around 85. And tomorrow's low pretty much to where it's going to end up today. Or this morning, 60 degrees. 85 for a high today, 87 on Friday. A few more clouds moving to the picture and a slight chance of showers on Saturday. Sunday looking better, tad warmer. And then partly cloudy skies Monday through Wednesday. Brian?